What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Don Fiction. I'm your fan this for this evening, and this is Real Fan Sports. In this series, Zach and myself, we will both be going over each NFL team and doing a game-by-game -game analysis and prediction for the 2024 to the 2025 NFL season. Let's get into it. All right, so as you can see, the first team I have up right here is the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore Ravens play the Kansas City Chiefs on the first game of the season on a Thursday. We have two teams who are considered two top tier teams. We have the reigning champs, the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes and crew. Right now, they're slated by most Vegas betters, by most sports TV analysts to repeat and be one of the first teams to repeat since Tom Brady. On the other side, the Baltimore Ravens, which this video is actually about. The Baltimore Ravens have the reigning MVP, Lamar Jackson, but they also picked up a fantastic, fantastic run back in Derrick Henry um, and currently in that combination if one player gets the most yards after contact the other player gets the most yards before contact I think it's a deadly combination I also believe that Derrick Henry will flourish in this system. I think he'll be great in the system, but I also think it'll give Lamar a little more opportunity to not necessarily run more, but be able to utilize his arms, his arm skills and arm talent to get that ball out, to get the ball out of his hands to his deep threat, say Flowers. I also think that the opportunity of having Derrick Henry next to Lamar Jackson, he can also prevent the sack coming from any, any direction because he's great at covering up like that. But regardless of that, you have, once again, Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry, who are leading, leading this team we have Zay Flowers, who last year was a few yards short of a thousand, and I think this year he'll definitely eclipse that number. Mark Andrews, who's back after you know, in San, they say he's 100%. I believe he's 100%. You know, the car accident was was quite a while ago, but for the most part, I think that he's gonna have a good season as well. They did pick up some some nice young talent to go along with the crew. I do believe Zay Flowers is gonna be the number one currently at this time. Uh, Bateman, who joins just joins the group, will probably be the will be the third option. He is a solid receiver. You know, we gotta see if he can stay healthy, see if he can actually stay in the mix. And I think with him adding to the situation, it just makes that makes that team a little bit better. Now the question is on the defensive side, will the defense stay at the level it was last season or will they take a step back? Because they did lose to Davian Clowney. Clowney was his number two rusher and sack leader on that team with 9.5 sacks. I think there will be times we'll probably notice Clowney not being there. Do I think they'll be the exact same defense they were last year? Maybe not so much, but it depends on the young guys that they picked up in the last couple of seasons and last couple of drafts. Now, collectively, there's uh, three of their young bucks only had about three or four sacks last season. Now, let's see if they can make a leap this year and, and be a little bit better all around and see if they can contribute more to the defense. So with that being said, we're going to go into these predictions. Like I said, week one is Baltimore versus the Chiefs. I believe besides everybody else, this is the game that Baltimore needs to win. And for the for the Ravens fans, I'm going to kind of ride with y'all on this one. I know everybody saying the Chiefs are going to win. I'm going to give the dub to the Ravens. Not necessarily say it's a revenge game. It's a prove it game. Prove it that we are worthy to be in this realm with this other great team. Now, going to week two, they play, they play my Raiders. Though I love my Raiders, I don't think we're at the potential to stop this team. I think we can score, but I don't think we can beat them. So we went to Ravens. Week three, Ravens at Dallas. Dallas had a lot of turmoil throughout the offseason. Owners saying they don't want to pay nobody. Oh, we'll worry about them later. Too much turmoil. Too much turmoil. And it's still stress in that camp. So with that being said, we're going to the Baltimore. So Baltimore starting the season off 3-0. and All right. So as we head into week four, you have Sunday night playing against Buffalo. Now, Buffalo lost a major weapon and a lot of people still have a lot of confidence in that team i don't know my confidence in the quarterback and what that team can do is kind of starting to wane i think they have, have had plenty of opportunity to prove how good they are how good they should be and they have faltered on so many occasions one of those problem players is gone i just don't know what we get from this team and saying that buffalo loses that game so we head into week five week five is against the cincinnati Bengals. now we know they played them twice and i'm gonna say this is the first week we see the defense of baltimore struggle more than what we thought it was going to struggle and i'm going to give a dub to the Bengals. now coming in two weeks six playing washington got a rookie quarterback you know rookie play caller not saying he's a bad play caller i just don't think this team is ready at this point to beat a team such as the ravens ravens get the dub ravens and tampa bay on monday night football i think this one actually is going to be better than what everybody thinks it's going to be i still believe ravens win it but i think it's going to be much better than what people think it's going to be coming into week eight we have two teams who have very solid defenses they both have high powered offenses i think by this time we'll finally see a glimpse of of Deshaun looking like the MVP status he looked like before all the drama happened when he was in Houston and I think we're going to get one of those games where the Browns not only offensively dominate but defensively dominate too so we're going to go with the Browns 
Coming into week nine, as you can still see, Denver visits, visits Baltimore. No competition. Ravens win that. Week 10, kind of a get back game. I'm going to give that to the Ravens. Week 11, Ravens at Pittsburgh. I, as much as I'm not a fan of Pittsburgh and what they have been doing the last couple of years, they find a way to win games. But this is not one of them. <laughs> So I'm going with Baltimore with the dub. I kind of had you on the ropes there, didn't I? Yeah, I know I did. Week 12, Baltimore at the Chargers. I don't know what the Chargers are going to look like. They lost so many pieces, so many valuable pieces on offense. Their defense, they have a good defensive line. I think their offense is going to be the issue. With that being said, I'm going to call it Ravens over Chargers. Heading to week 13, right before the bye philly against baltimore i think this one might be an interesting shootout i think i want to go eagles i think i want to go eagles in this one it's not one like a specific reason like a specific player or anything but it's just a gut call like i feel like eagles get the dub we're going to week 15 ravens new york what more can i say what ravens get the win week 16 pittsburgh at ravens on a saturday why on a saturday let's not do that no more please i'm going just clean sweeping <laughs> clean sweep it all right now week 17 i think this game is going to be one hell of a game on a wednesday what in the world um ravens can you guys see you guys can't see sorry um ravens at the texans sorry on a wednesday i think cj is on a roll i think he's looking beautiful right about now they stay just kind of cruising into the playoffs i'm going to houston Final game of the season, week 18, Browns versus Baltimore. Now, I know I chose Browns to get the win the first game, the first meetup. This second one, I'm going to give it to Baltimore. Let's see where we got them at. Now, if it's super low, which I don't think it is, I think we did a good one. I think we did it. I think this is pretty good. Let's let's just see before y'all yell at me in the comments. Okay, look. Can you see? Can you guys see? Oh, yeah, you can right there. Right in the middle. You can see. It says record 13 and 4. That's actually not bad. Actually not bad at all. Yeah, so 13 and 4. Four and two in a division. Pretty good. Yeah, you guys let me know down below. What are your thoughts on my choices, my picks? I think this is a fair I think this is pretty fair because I do think this team will be fully back in the playoffs again. Now the question, my question I have, I know people didn't like the takes I had on uh Baltimore in the playoffs. I do believe there was some uh some give up towards in that game, towards the, the, the third quarter, even though I know they were felt like they were losing already, but that's how I felt. I could be totally wrong and I could be misreading it, but that's how I felt. Don't 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 destroy me when you hear what I said. But I still think Lamar Jackson is a very talented quarterback. Honestly, I think he's such an athlete. He can play any position on the field for the most part. But I do believe 13-4 and four is a reasonable record for them. And I can see them actually getting to this point. I know a lot of people have them going 12-5, and five, but which is still, I think, a solid a solid record. With that being said, my name is Not Fiction. This is Real Fan Sports. And this is my prediction for the Baltimore Ravens. Let me know down below what your thoughts, your ideas, your concerns, or your complaints. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.